ねえ最後のクッキー食べたえほら何これクッキーでしょだってお腹減ってたからやっぱりごめんね Welcome to Learn Japanese Pod, the podcast dedicated to helping you speak fluent, natural Japanese. And I'm joined by the wonderful and extremely musical Ami Sensei. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Ami, genki? Genki, genki. Alex, wa? Zekko cho de gozaimasu. Zekko cho. I'm very good. Good. As always, in each podcast, we teach you useful Japanese phrases using realistic conversations to help you sound more like a native speaker. And we'll also be answering some of your Japan and Japanese study related questions. If you need help with anything, just send your questions to info at learnjapanesepod.com or fill out our super quick and easy form at learnjapanesepod.com slash questions. That's learnjapanesepod.com slash questions. Did you, like, did you like my echo there? Yes. Anyway, <laughs> we'll be also teaching you the very popular random phrase of the week. And that's obviously a funny, random phrase you can amaze and amuse your lovely Japanese friends with. And, and to be honest, I think that's the only reason anyone listens to this podcast. <laughs> and、uh, today's main lesson is on the word yappari. This is an extremely useful and common word, but slightly difficult to understand for students learning it for the first time. I do get a lot of emails about the word yappari.、Mm -hmm. And actually,、um, In a couple of podcasts ago, we, we answered a question about、mm -hmm. Yapari. So、yeah. I thought we'd do a proper full podcast about Yapari. But don't worry, even if you think Yapari is a bit of a difficult word, Ami and I will try to teach you this word Yapari using some easy dialogues and example sentences so you can try it out yourself and make your Japanese sound more natural. But before that, let's catch up with Ami Sensei. And find out what she's been doing recently. Ami Sensei, Genki, Hi. Saikin, do? Saikin, this ka? Saikin, wa. So, this ne, atarashi, natin this ka? Album? Yes! Tanoshi mini s t e m a s No, eh, ha, arigato gozaimas, recording ga wa te. So, ne? So, this ne, de, ima, ano, matte imas. Zenbu, ano, mixing to mastering o. 待っているところですそうですねあのはいアルバム購入したいと思いますよろしくお願いしますありがとうございます皆さんもよろしく最近ですねあのどこでアミ先生の音楽聞くことができますという質問がよく出ましたのでそうなんですよでどこに行けばいいですかあ、YouTube、Facebook、Instagram、Instagram もよくやっています、うん、であのおかげさまであの Learn Japanese Pod の,あのリスナーの,、うん、あのたくさんの方がフォローしてくれたりあのメッセージを YouTube でくれたりして本当にありがとうございます本当にありがたいです Learn Japanese Pod を聞いてる皆さんぜひアミ先生の音楽聞いてみてくださいありがとうございますいい音楽ですよどうもあとですね、はい、ちょっと悲しいニュースなんですけど最近、はい、関西で、まあ、大阪で大変な台風がありましたよね。友達家族大丈夫ですか大丈夫でしたあの。停電とかあの、ね、水が止まったりしたんですけども、うん、うちの,あの実家でも、うん、でもあの一応無事でみんな。ああよかったよかったなん,なんかね25年ぶり一番強い台風らしいですよねすごい大変だから僕の友達はいいアドバイス聞きました何ですか台風の警告がある時にちゃんと聞いてくださいーで 80% は別に大したことないけど、はい、その大変な台風は本当に危ないからあじゃあ一応出てたんですね警告がで時々ああじゃあ大丈夫大丈夫大丈夫大丈夫と思ったら本当はちゃんと気をつけてくださいそうですよね危ないですよね、うん
いやだからそうですねあの早く町町というかまあ,あの関西が全部あのね元に戻ることを祈っています気をつけて気をつけてくださいということで、はい、レッスンに行きましょうかはい Let's move on to today's main lesson. Ami sensei, can you tell us about the word yappari? Sure. So, as you said, Alex, yappari is a very common and useful word, but slightly difficult for beginners to understand as it doesn't translate easily into English. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You should be able to get the hang of yappari by the end of this lesson. Now, yappari has various meanings, but the most common one is something like, I knew it, or I thought as much. Another way to think of it is as a phrase that emphasizes is or was, as in, it was you, or he is the culprit. So let's look at some example dialogue so you can understand how it is used naturally in conversations. Plus, we'll look at different meanings of yappari. So, here is dialogue number one. Ne, saigo no cookie tabeta? Eh? Hora, nani kore, cookie de shou? Date, onaka he te takara. Yappari. Gomen ne? Ne, saigo no cookie tabeta? Eh? ほら、なにこれ、クッキーでしょだって、お腹減ってたから。やっぱり。ごめんね。OK、so let's break down that conversation. What did you say first, Ami 先生 ?OK、so I said, ねえ、最後のクッキー食べた ?So I said, ねえ、へい、最後の、or 最後 is the word that means last, no, of. Cookie is, of course, cookie. Tabeta, did you eat? So, hey, did you eat the last cookie? Oh, no, that's quite an accusation. <laughs> and then I kind of freaked out <laughs>、yeah. and said, eh, which is like, um, um. <laughs> which is obviously、yeah. proof of guilt right there. Yes, of course. And then, hora, nani kore, cookie de shou. So, hora is. See or look here. Nani kore? What's this? Cookie de shou. This is a cookie. Or maybe I'm saying, so you did eat, basically. Cookie de shou. Basically, literally translate to it is a cookie, right? And then Alex replies, Date onaka hette ta kara. So, date. But. But it's because, yeah, like you're, you're saying you're an excuse. It's like you're protesting something,、yeah. you know, you ate the last cookie. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, but. Onaka hette ta kara. So, onaka is your belly or stomach. Hette ta kara. So, hette ta comes from the word heru or the verb heru, which means to. Lesson or decrease, and hetteta means it had been decreased. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> kara, kara means because. So, onaka hetteta actually means that you were hungry. So,、yeah. Alex is saying, Yeah, but it's because I was hungry. Right.、Mm-hmm. And, then And then you hit me full force <laughs>、yes. with a yappari. Yappari. <laughs> so in this instant, yappari means I knew it. <laughs> right, right, right. It was you, or I knew it. Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> it was, of course, <laughs> it was you. I knew it was yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. And then、uh, what did I say at the end? ごめんね。Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Now, Ami Sensei,、yes. could you beautifully enunciate the entire conversation with your incredible NHK <laughs> announcer Japanese? No, you、please? shouldn't say that. Here we go. 
ねえ、最後のクッキー食べたえほら、なにこれ、クッキーでしょう。だって、お腹減ってたから。やっぱり。ごめんね。ねえ、最後のクッキー食べたえほら、なにこれ、クッキーでしょう。だってお腹減ってたから。やっぱり。ごめんね。Okay, so I hope you got a general idea of what that conversation meant. Now, Ami Sensei, could you give us some more examples of how you could use やっぱり Yeah, so. 彼が犯人だとずっと思ってて、やっぱりそうだった。彼が犯人だとずっと思ってて、やっぱりそうだった。Mm. So it's a little bit long, but basically I'm saying, 彼が he is 犯人。犯人 is the word for culprit だと、so I guess ずっと思ってて。So ずっと is always. 思ってて was thinking. So the first half of the sentence, I'm saying, 彼が犯人だとずっと思ってて I had been thinking this whole time that he was the culprit. And then I said, やっぱりそうだった So here's our word for today. やっぱりそうだったやっぱり He was そうだった。Mm. It. So he was the one. He actually really was the culprit. So it's something like, I thought he was the culprit, and of course I was right. Yes. Or it turned out that he was indeed. Indeed, yes. Or the, the criminal or whatever. Great.、Mm-hmm. Any、um, other examples? Sure. Here's another one. もう一度やってみたけどやっぱり無理だった。もう一度やってみたけどやっぱり無理だった。So another long one, but it's, you know, another good example, we think. もう一度 one more time, やってみたけど I tried, but やっぱり indeed, <laughs> 無理だった It didn't work out. It was impossible.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, but of course it was impossible. I... But of course.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, right. Okay. One more time. Na, 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 na. <laughs> okay. This next one, this last example is a little shorter, a little easier. やっぱり彼女来なかった。やっぱり彼女来なかった。やっぱり彼女来なかった。So, just as I thought. Right? Just as I thought, Kanojo, she, Konakata, didn't come by, didn't come. Right, right,、mm-hmm. yeah. So I knew she didn't come, I knew it. I knew、yeah. she wouldn't come. Right.、Great. So you should now have a good idea of what yappari means and how it's used naturally in conversation. However, it has other meanings in different contexts. Listen to this short dialogue and see if you can work out what it means. 日本で何が一番好きやっぱり温泉が好き。アミはたこ焼きかなやっぱりね。日本で何が一番好きやっぱり温泉が好き。アミはたこ焼きかなやっぱりね。OK、So This is a question you'll actually get a lot in Japan. I'll say, like, what do you like about Japan? So, 日本で Nihon is Japan. De means in or at. Nani ga ichiban ski. Nani what? Ichiban, number one ski you like. So, what do you like most about Japan? And then, what did I say, Ami Sensei? Yabari onsen ga ski. Ami wa?、Mm. Mm-hmm. Right. So, here's Yabari. Alex said, Yabari onsen ga ski. Ami wa? So, in this case, He says, やっぱり温泉が好き。やっぱり。I do indeed love hot springs. 温泉が好き
温泉 hot springs が好き。like or love。アミは How about you, Ami? And then I replied, Takoyaki kana? So, you may or may not know Takoyaki is the very traditional and popular Osaka dish. Osaka pizza balls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Osaka pizza balls with、um, octopus <laughs> inside. And I said, Takoyaki kana? So, kana kind of makes it like、um, I guess. Right. Means I guess. And then Alex said, やっぱりね。やっぱりね。In this case, okay, because we've used it before, but in this last line, やっぱりね。Ah, that's what I thought. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So it, it, it's kind of using the two uses of やっぱり it, It's a very subtle difference, but the first one, やっぱり onsen ga ski, means something like I do indeed love、right. onsen. So of course, it's got to be onsen. So basically, you're just emphasizing.、Mm-hmm. Something you're emphasizing your opinion, right?、Mm-hmm. And then at the end, we use the first use of yapari, which is I knew it. So it could be because Ami sensei is from Osaka, so she says takoyaki, ka, <laughs> takoyaki kana. So I, I guess it's takoyaki, and I'm like, well, of course,、mm-hmm. you're from Kansai, right? So yapari ne. So as we learned, yapari in this case emphasizes the strength of your opinion. So I would use this in exactly this situation when somebody asks you, Nihon de nani ga ichiban ski.、Mm. And you can just say, Yapari onsen ga ski.、Mm-hmm. Oh, of course, I love hot springs. Or, Yapari、mm, sushi ga ski.、Mm. I love sushi. Or, Yapari takoyaki ga ski.、Mm. Of course, I love takoyaki. Just say what you like. So, Yapari, whatever you like ga ski. And that's a really nice. Way to that's a really nice way to use yappari.、Mm-hmm. Any other examples of yappari? Hi, arimas. Here's one.、Mm. Yappari, my nichi, nihongo, benkyo, shinakya. Yappari, my nichi, nihongo, benkyo, shinakya. Yappari, my nichi. But of course, every day, or indeed, every day, nihongo, o Japanese. Benkyo shinakya. Gotta study. So,、mm. you indeed, or I indeed, need to study Japanese every day. No, you don't, Ami sensei. <laughs> <laughs> We depends, do. Yeah, it depends who we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, But yeah, yeah.、Um, yeah, and then、uh, here's another one. Yappari. Kare ga ski. Yappari. Kare ga ski. Yappari. I do. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Kare ga him of ski. Like. I do like him after all. Yes. So again, you're emphasizing、mm-hmm. the point that you really like someone. So if you liked a lady, you would say? Sure. Yappari. Kanojo ga ski. Yappari. Kanojo ga ski. Yappari kanojo ga ski.、Mm. Of course, I like her. Yeah. yeah. Indeed, I like her, Indeed. right? Indeed. Indeed. And here's one more. Washok to ye ba yappari sashimi. Washok to ye ba yappari sashimi. So, washok, Japanese food. To ye ba. Nan de shou. To ye ba. Um, so, it's something like, you know, when talking about、yeah. Japanese food, or if you're, if you're talking about Japanese food. Or if you want some Japanese food. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. やっぱり刺身 Of course, it's 刺身刺身 So, a not very good translation of a やっぱり in this context would be, of course, you know. So. <laughs> If you're talking about Japanese food, of course, sashimi.、Yeah. Or, you know, of course I like her. Or, of course I like him. Or, sure. If you're, or, of course, you have to study Japanese every day.、Uh, another word is maybe indeed, as we said before.、Uh, are there any other uses of yappari? Okay, yes. One more. One more example, everybody, of how yappari is used. Can you guess what it means? Here we go. 明日何する公園に行くよ。やっぱりやめる。明日雨だ。明日何する公園に行くよ
やっぱりやめる。明日雨だ。So that's an interesting conversation. 明日何する So 明日 tomorrow. 何 what する do. This is why I love Japanese. It's so simple sometimes. <laughs> tomorrow, what do? Tomorrow, park go. <laughs> so,、um, uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm asking, what do you want to do tomorrow? Yeah. And then you said, ni iku yo. I'm going to the park tomorrow. And then what did you say next? <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to. Actually, I changed my mind. Tomorrow. Ameda, it's gonna rain. So, what do you want to do tomorrow? I'm going to go to the park. Ah, you know, forget it. I'm not gonna go.、Mm. It's, it's gonna rain tomorrow. So,、mm. can you explain what that means in this context? In this case, y a p p a r i is used when you change your mind. Like, oh, actually. So, here are some more examples. Yameo kana. y a p p a r i mo c h o t t o g a m b a r u やめようかな。やっぱりもうちょっと頑張る。So, やめようかな is like you're talking to yourself and you're going,、um, maybe I'll quit. やめようかな。やっぱりもうちょっと頑張る。Actually, or never mind. もうちょっと a little more 頑張る。I'm gonna try. So, I'm gonna try just a little bit more. So, Uh, I kind of want to quit. Maybe I'll quit. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a little harder.、Mm, cool, cool. <laughs> And here's another one. Cake, t a b e t a i Yapari, y a m e r Diet, s h i n a k a Cake, t a b e t a i Yapari, y a m e r Diet, s h i n a k a <laughs> This is my life.、Um, It's my life too. <laughs> because I like to, I like the idea and the thought of being healthy and, you know, being fit. But、mm. um, I like to eat equally as much. <laughs> right, right, right. Cake, t a b e t a i I want some cake. I want to eat cake. Cake, t a b e t a i Yappari, y a m e r Actually, Scratch that. Diet to shinakya. I gotta go on a diet. But we're not gonna talk about how, to what extent we actually go through with that diet, are we? I mean, it's a secret. No, we're not gonna talk about how much we actually weigh and how, you know, our, our <laughs> self esteem and all that stuff. So, and, and, and our self control. Yeah, and, and our self control <laughs> and our calorie intake.、Um, yeah. Life goes on. I was talking to my doctor the other day. He said,、mm, Yes, you have good blood test results. Oh,、um, good. But、um, yeah, you look very healthy. But you may, you may want to lose just a little bit of weight.、Uh, I'm like, Oh, okay. Yeah, fair, fair enough. I suppose we all can. He says, Yes, you should eat less calories. And I, I, and I didn't say anything, but my sarcastic <laughs> British brain、yeah. was screaming out, Oh, is that how you do it? <laughs> <laughs> That's、Why、funny. don't you eat less? Okay.、Uh, thank you, genius doctor. I shouldn't be rude. I shouldn't be rude.、Mm. He's, he's a good doctor. <laughs> my, cra- my crazy doctor.、Uh. Okay, so back to our lesson. Let's summarize. <laughs> Let's summarize everything we've learned so far. Okay. There are three uses for y a p p a r i The first and most common one means, I knew it. Ya pari, right? When you had suspected something and,、mm. you know, or guesstimated and right, right. it indeed was right, then you say, ya pari,、mm. right? And you can just simply just, just use that one word and it'll work fine. And in the second dialogue, we learned, ya pari can also be used to emphasize your opinion. やっぱり温泉が好き。I do indeed like 温泉。やっぱり温泉が好き。And as we learned in the final dialogue, やっぱり can be used when you change your mind. 公園に行く。あやっぱりやめる。明日雨だ。Finally, the last thing you need to know is about different ways you can pronounce 
やっぱり。One is やはり and is the more polite form, usually used by service staff or when talking to someone of a higher social rank than you, slash someone older. And on the other hand, the most casual way to say やっぱり is just やっぱ。<laughs> <laughs> it's so casual. It's super, super casual. So, probably. It's super, super casual. Yeah. So, probably it's like, yappari is, is a lot better. Yeah. So, yappa, you should only say yappa to your friends. Like, you're. Yeah. Right. So, thanks for those great explanations, Ami Sensei. y a p p a r i is a little tricky to understand, but if you keep practicing, y a p p a r i you'll get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yay. Now, I'd like to make a shout out to all those lovely, lovely people who left reviews on iTunes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you like this podcast and you want to show your support, please leave a five star rating. Why? Because it helps us get more visibility on the iTunes network and more listeners. And also, please tell your friends about the podcast and spread the word. We really appreciate it. Domo, domo, domo. Domo, domo, domo. And now we're going to read out a couple of reviews that you very, very kind people left. The first one is from America and Flora Tsai. And Flora writes, as a Mandarin speaker, I feel it's so interesting to learn Japanese with this podcast because I'm learning it in English. Also, I enjoy the conversation in each episode. Arigato gozaimasu. Sometimes it makes me laugh because it's so interesting. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for making this podcast. Arigato ne. Thank you. You're too kind. Thank you. Thank you, Flora. I'm not going to lie to you. There are lots of courses out there that say, you know, we're going to teach you Japanese in three minutes flat. You'll be speaking Japanese in two days. <laughs> Um, Japanese takes a long time to learn, like any language. So, if, yeah. so might as well make it fun. That, that's our philosophy. Yeah. The next review is from, I think that's Beer Man from Germany. Danke. <laughs> And Beer Man says the way that these two introduce grammar is amazing. They have something for different learning types every time. And even some fun grammar stuff for those who are into it. Love it. Yeah, we, we, we try to teach. Different things in every episode, so hopefully, there's something for everyone. Thank you very much, Beer Man. Thank you. And uh, entschuldigen Sie bitte, wie komme ich am besten zum Bahnhof? What? <laughs> yeah, that, that, so in, in England, the only German we, we know is, excuse me, how do I get to the station? <laughs> okay. That's the only German、That's、I know. That's pretty useful, though. I apologize to、um, all German speakers out there for my horrible accent. <laughs> Now, the next one is from Haha <laughs> Hawaiian Girl from Hawaii. Aloha. Hello, beautiful Hawaii. Aloha. And、um, she's too kind because she writes, Alex is such a great host. Oh, stop it, you. <laughs>、um, his style makes the podcast fun to listen to. Well, it wouldn't be anything without Ami Sensei. So come yeah, on, let's.、Yeah. Uh, let's everyone. <laughs> oh, let's, come on. <laughs> Oh, come on. Let's, let's hear it for Ami Sensei. So, the lessons are shared in an engaging way. Thank you very much. Very useful dialogue versions for practice later and detailed show notes. You're welcome. In between the lesson part of the show, it's lots of fun conversation between Alex and Ami. Well, thank you very much. Ha ha, Hawaiian girl. <laughs> and I, and、um, she says, I'm a beginner and I've learned so much. Relevant Japanese from this. And the podcast also touches on Japanese culture. And context that boosts your understanding of Japan. Well, thank you very much. Ha ha. Ha Hawaiian girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mess up your name. But thank you so much for listening, everyone. Oh, finally, she says, Arigato gozaimasu, sensei. Big fan with Aloha Nina from Hawaii. Aww. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Aloha and mahalo. Aloha and mahalo.、Oh, I miss Hawaii. I want to go back to Hawaii. It's been ages since I've been. Me too. Love that place.、Oh, So awesome. Well, thank you very much, people. By the way, I should just let you know if you have a question, please send us your questions at info at learnjapanesepod.com or you can actually fill in our questionnaire online at learnjapanesepod.com slash questions. So if you've got any questions, just send us an email to info at learnjapanesepod.com or go onto our online form and fill it in, and we will answer your question here on the podcast. And that is at learnjapanesepod.com slash questions. Yoroshiku onigaishimasu.
お願いします。And finally, the only reason you listen to the podcast <笑> Random Phrase of the Week <笑> It's Random Phrase of the Week So, Ami 先生、はい、What is this week's random phrase? This week's random phrase of the week is ウケるウケる More like random word of the week Random word, random word of the week ウケる So what does ウケる mean? ウケる is a slang and it, it just means Oh, that's funny And、uh, I, I'll give you a little writing note here When you write the word ウケる because it's slang、mm-hmm. the ルーアッドエンドズ、ライトパートヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァヴァ Gives you an applause, right? Right, right.、Uh, you receive, like, you receive the applause, you receive、right. um, comments.、Um, and so apparently, the slang, ukeru, comes from、um, that because, you know, it's like, oh, it's funny. That's so funny. So you're like complimenting. Right.、Um, and you've received, you know, this. Well, it's like in English, it's like in English, like when a performance was received well or a joke is received well. Exactly.、Um, so, so that, that, I think that's how I didn't actually know, literally until today when I started researching、mm-hmm. this, that、um, the uke in ukeru is actually written in katakana. Yes, that's right. But the do is written in hiragana. Hiragana, yeah. Which. Basically, long story short, it implies it's a verb. So you are receiving you you are receiving that joke well. You do think it's funny. funny. So it, it's <laughs> it's kind of weird, but like, uke, ukeru is, um yeah, it, it's like, yeah, man, that's hilarious. So could you teach us some example sentences? Sure. Ano terebi bangumi ukeru. Ano terebi bangumi ukeru. Ano terebi bangumi ukeru. Or, yeah, or you can add. <laughs> あのテレビ番組超ウケる。Okay, so what does that mean? So, あの is that. テレビ番組 TV show. 超 super ウケる funny. So, that, that show, that TV show is so funny. And I've also heard people just simply say, 超ウケる。Yep. <laughs> you can just say, oh, that's so funny, man. Exactly. What's the intonation with like, cho ukeru? I'm saying it flat on purpose here, but if you, if you looked at the intonation, how, how, how do you do it? If you... So you go up. Yeah, you go up. Yeah. Cho、yeah. ukeru. Cho ukeru. Yep. So, cho ukeru. Cho ukeru. Yep. Right. So the u and do are kind of sort of in the middle, right? Right. And you go up on the ke. And of course, at the beginning, cho. So, cho ukeru. Da da da. Yeah, I'm kind of hearing like ukeru. Yeah. So, cho ukeru, right? Yeah. Sorry, is it like, is it, is it like the,、um, you know, taberu? Is it the same kind yeah, of. Yeah, taberu, ukeru.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it goes, it goes up and then that's a taberu. Yeah. I'm, I'm exaggerating here, but taberu,、yes. ukeru. So, cho ukeru. Right. Mm-hmm. Interesting. What else might you find funny, Ami Sensei? Ano manzai ukeru. Ano manzai ukeru. Ano manzai ukeru. Yeah.、Mm. What's the intonation for manzai? How do you say that? Manzai. Manzai. Yes. Ukeru.、Yes. Ukeru. Ukeru. Yes. So, same kind of grammar, yes. Now, manzai is the、um, Japanese. Traditional sort of,、um, it's stand up, but it's、yep. like with two people. So it's usually a duo、um, up on stage, you know, in front of a microphone, basically. So it's a duo stand up.、Yes. And you have you have two roles, right?、Yes. And you've got the, no, no, what is it? Boke. Oh, first is boke.、Okay. And it's the guy that, like, yeah, other one is tsukomi.、Mm. Boke person will, like, Joke, like we'll say a joke 
or say whatever. And then the tsukomi person will, you know, like、uh, respond to that basically. So it's kind of, like, would you say, like the boke is like the funny idiot? Yeah, he's like the clown. <laughs> he's the clown. And then the tsukomi is the straight guy, right? Yeah. So he'll just, he'll like correct him or he'll, he'll be like, what the heck? <laughs> What the, what the heck did you just yeah, say? Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Nandeya ne? Chou ukeru. Actually, <laughs> nandeya ne、yeah. is、um, another thing. It just kind of means like, what the heck? Yeah, exactly. What are you saying?、Yeah. So basically, you know, the boke guy will say something really dumb, and then the straight guy will say, nandeya ne?、Mm-hmm. So, exactly. But、um, Osaka Ben, that's a completely different language for us. Whole other podcast. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna do it someday.、Uh, one podcast we should do is Osaka Ben Intonation because, like, it's almost like a different language. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's、yeah. crazy. <laughs> so, which manzai do you most ukeru? Me? Like, which, peop- which、uh, group or yeah. duo? Yeah.、Um, I guess in the more recent days, it would be. Uh, well, I guess they've been around for a while now, but Nakagawake.、Mm, it's funny. Mm-hmm, they're mm-hmm. from Kansai. Cool.、Um, they're, they're brothers, actually, which I think is、oh, no、cool. Yeah. And、uh, Sandwich Man. <laughs> Sandwich Man. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of them? No, I'll have to check okay, it out. Okay, you should、Sandwich、look them up.、Man. So, yeah, these are all、okay. over YouTube, I'm sure. But Sandwich Man and、uh, Nakagawake. Very different in styles, but both very funny. By the way, do you, do you remember the.、Uh, it, it's old hat now, but there was this duo,、mm-hmm. and the, basically the punch, the, their shtick was one of them was a robot, and the other one was this old man, and he kept on saying, Injana, you know? And, she, and she's like, Dame, Dame. Ah! Forget the name of that. Ee, Janai no. Dame, dame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. Erekite rengo. That's it, that's yeah, it. Yeah. That, they were funny. So basically, he, he, he buys this kind of robot, which is kind of like his robot girlfriend. Yeah. And he's always kind of making advance, romantic advances <laughs> on her, and the robot's like, stop it. <laughs> dame, stop dame. It. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. This thing was. It, it was massive、yeah. in Japan. It just exploded all over Japan. It, it was pretty funny. Just, y o u you got to see it. I'll, I'll put links in the show、okay. notes to this. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, cool. Anyway, Ami Sensei,、Hi. thank you so much for today's amazing lesson. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. みんなで頑張ってください。So, if you've got any questions, again, send me an email at info at learnjapanesepod.com. Check out our answer your question on the podcast form, which is at learnjapanesepod.com slash questions. You can find us on Facebook if you just do a search for Learn Japanese Pod Facebook. Find us on Twitter at Japanese Podcast. And thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to listen to the dialogue only audio file, which we release with this longer podcast. Listen to that again and again and again. Try to shadow to improve your listening and your speaking. And thank you so much for listening. See you next time. Matane. Matane.